is your boy OZ and we are currently at the Lagos Blue Line Metro Rail Station. We are giving you updates on what is happening on the Blue Line. You know, it's almost one year now this service has been in operation here in Lagos, Nigeria. What is the current situation? What is the maintenance culture looking like? We'll find out. Come with me. Low maintenance culture remains one of the biggest challenges we we'll have in our public infrastructures here in Nigeria. The Lagos Blue Line started passengers operation on 4th of September 2023. So far, it has moved millions of passengers. In less than one month, it will be exactly one year in operation, period to when I'm recording this video. I paid a visit to surrounding of the rail track to see how they're maintaining the green areas and the rail track itself. I visited some of the stations so you see what they are looking like currently. I also took a ride on the train to do my due surveillance. We will discuss the updates on the marina bus interchange, what they've accomplished on the station. You'll see all that in this video. What's the efficiency and the sustainability update on the Lagos Blue Line? Let's take a tour on the rail tracks. This is the rail track at the Mautu area of the station. This is the rail track at the Alaba area of the station. I like the fact that the green areas is properly taken care of. From Mautu area down to Igomo, where I stopped, everything is looking like this. It's important you know that the contractors of this project, which is China Civic Engineering Construction Company, CECC, are still present maintaining the blue line as part of the contract of the blue line they have one year of maintaining the blue line they are still here taking care of the project subsequently let's talk about the stations on the lagos blue line there are five different stations on the first phase of the lagos blue line what is the conditions of the station currently This is the Alaba station. This is the Mautu station. This is the marina, the most sophisticated and the control center for the Blue Line operations. You may be asking, where is the National Theater station? Where is the Igomo station? Don't worry, whatever you see here as maintenance culture is what is being maintained at all stations of the blue line. This is inside the Alaba train station. This is what we have right there. I will leave you to be the judge. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comment section. And this is how Mautu is looking like. Igomo National Theater and Marina, which I will show you shortly. Shortly after touring all the stations, I arrived at the last station, which is the Marina train station. Let's see what is going on here at the station. It's impressive to know that all the facilities are still working perfectly well. But that's not all. Let's get into the station, then we'll explore other improvements at the station. We see our businesses running at the station. This is what we have inside the station. This is what it's looking like. You can see. I like the fact that the place is looking neat. But I will leave you to be the judge in the comment section. Do you think the station is looking as neat as it was the first time you paid a visit to the station?
and went downstairs of the station to see what that part of the station looked like. Yeah, this is what I saw. The fact that we now have bike, popularly known as Okada, competing with the last mile buses is what I don't get. Yeah, this, that was I noticed. We now have bike, we have the last mile bus. Passengers now have to choose between bike, last mile, which one they will take to their last destination. This is what that part looked like. Because you're wondering, why the red zinc? Like, what's it doing there? That's the construction site for the Marina Bus Interchange that was recently flagged off for construction in June 2024. This bus interchange will accommodate the Lagos BRT bus, will accommodate the last mile and first mile buses, will also accommodate the ferry services. You can take boats from here down to other locations here in Lagos. These are the few things I saw when I visited. I will play a video where the director of the Lamata explained extensively on their plans on this project. But before then, kindly subscribe to the channel as a way to help us grow and stay updated on our next um, updates. You can also support us by buying us coffee. This is a way to help us fund our next project. There is an interchange design that, is, um, that we're expecting to implement. We're starting that come January. So, if you know that La, um, the what do you call it? Marina has water, it has rail, and it has road. So, we're making Marina an interchange for transportation, such that there will be ease of changing from mode to mode. There's so many ways to in integration. There's localized integration, meaning that I have all my modes close to one another. I have systems integration, which is what is speaking to. Uh, the ability to use an app to find out when the train is coming or when the bus is coming uh, and uh, uh, an ITS system and then there's a payment integration which Lagos is already doing with the carry card so this will encompass all of those things I described so there will be um, the rail system in Marina underneath that um, Marina station we will develop a bus terminal I will have the BRT buses coming all the way from Ikorodu to that location. We will have other buses from various routes terminating and taking off from there. Uh, we will also have the first and last mile buses coming away from there. We will have the um, walkways that will allow you to use and then tea out of the station. We will have cycle racks. You yourself can bring your bikes. Uh, lock it up at the marina station and get on the train. So all of that is what we intend to develop and uh, there will be a transit-oriented develop, uh, development building, that building that you can see, which will have uh, cinema, will have offices, will have restaurants, will have little shops, so you can mingle and then there is a sidewalk that will take you from that building to the train station and also to. So this whole marina is going to be developed to be a, a beautiful trans, transit um, infrastructure of, of types of import, sorts of infrastructure. There will be uh, water ferries as well, so there will be a bus terminal within Marina State. On a recent press release, the Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, LAMATA, announced to increase the service, which is 54 trips per day, to 74 trips per day, making trains available on the station every 18 minutes. This is what inside the train look like. If you ask my opinion, I would say these guys are doing an amazing job in sustaining and maintaining this, this train. It's looking as if it started uh, operation yesterday. Yeah, this is what it looked like. What do you think? Let us know your own opinion in the comment section. The patronage is still fair enough depending on the time you come. Most times we have more passengers, while the other time passengers are not like that. That is what we have right here at the Lagos Blue Line. Almost one year in operation. Let us know your own opinion regarding this in the comment section. And if you find value in this video, please subscribe to the channel to see more updates from me. And like I said, you can also support us by buying us coffee. This will help us fund our next project. They are coming your way again. I remain your boy, OZ. But hey, I'm always in your way. Floyd one showing next on your screen. Let's continue the chats.